In this video we are going to actually, we are going to create a new project. So let's go over the new steps. So if you haven't opened up SDL Travel Studio, go ahead and open it. And once you do open it, you'll be um, brought to this home screen. And what we want to do is we want to create a new project. And there's a few ways that you can create a new project. You can click here to create a new project. Or you can go to projects and click here to create a new project. And since we're here, let's go ahead and create a new project. Okay, this project type, it um, actually asks you if there is a actual default template that you created. And since there are no default templates that you created, uh, we'll go ahead and continue. But if you like, if there is a type of um, job or translation that you that you do repeatedly you can actually create a project template and it'll save all your settings but since we'll go through each and every step we're not going to use a uh, template that's already been created so let's click next the next step is project details where the name of your project a short description and the location so um, be aware of this location so I'm going to ch change this um, name to Video Video Travis in description. Video lesson. And you notice that this changed with the name, so I'm going to leave that as is. And if you are using their server, normally we will publish um, the projects at the end so don't click this item now and the due date so let's go ahead and have that due date and enter your customer and we'll use a test customer here and next okay and your language that you're going to translate the source language to um, the target language and you would only know that after you have your files so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the files that I have are right here and let me double check and it looks like it's in Portuguese so all these files are in Portuguese I've double checked that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the source language from English and if I click P it's going to take me to Portuguese and it already selects the uh, target language so I'll click next and this last part is to add files. You can add files a few ways. You can go click Add Files and it'll open up a window. And you can search for it. You can add an entire folder. But the fast way that I like to add files is through the, um, the actual windows. So these are the files that I want to add. So I'm going to add these files to my project. and let it scan okay before I um, go on I'm gonna explain a little bit about this um, you see the files that I've added these there's three files that I want translated and they're in this type of usage translatable but this workflow model I want to use that as a reference I don't want this to be translated if I leave it as translatable it will be configured in all our reports so what I want to do is I want to change the usage to a reference and this localizable is if there's some type of graphic that needs to be um, translated but it's not actually be able to be read by Travis. So if it is a PDF that's uneditable, like a scanned image, you would use that as localizable. It won't be counted in the reports, but it will be um, along with your project. So let's click OK, and it's asking me, it's confirming that it was changed. OK, and we click Next.